there's been a trend coming um, I've seen over the last couple of weeks where we were executing personal services contracts, uh, but we're not funding them. And, and I'm very happy that it's like when people are getting older, the less um, percentage of assets we can protect. So I've seen people coming to me now as part of pre-planning, actually wanting to execute personal service contracts, but not fund them. So by executing it early, um, the only caveat is they have to be giving their loved one care and they're gonna get paid at the back end. So we can lock in life expectancy with a personal service contract. Mom or dad does not have to fund the money. They only have to fund it if they go into a skilled nursing facility, but we've protected the assets at a, at a much earlier rate. You know, that is quite brilliant. So one of the tools that we use, Medicaid compliant tools, is a personal services contract to protect mom and dad's money from nursing homes and Medicaid. And the bottom line is that's just one of the tools in our toolbox. One of many. But for that particular tool, the younger mom or dad is, the more money that can be protected. Stated another way, the older mom or dad is, the less money that can be protected because it's based on what their life expectancy is. Yes. So the point is, is that we can do, while mom or dad are young, we can do this PSC, personal services contract now, and lock in that larger number it does not require that that money be turned over to the kids. It's just locked in and sitting there for the when it may be used down the road. They, like I said, the only caveat is they still have to be caring for their mom or dad or their loved one. And when we create these typical personal service contracts, typically, Tom, 